Hey guys, Interrupt Educator here to talk to you guys about periods. So what are periods? Periods are going to be experienced with someone who has a uterus and they typically start when someone hits puberty. Puberty is going to be an experience um, that's going to be different person to person. Usually starts as young as 9 or 10 to as old as 16 or 17. So what happens during a period? One thing that happens during periods is ovulation when an egg is being released from uh, one of the ovaries. So each month what happens is one of the ovaries is going to take a turn and it's going to pop out an egg and that egg is going to travel down the fallopian tube where it's going to be waiting for something. It's going to be waiting for sperm and if sperm is present fertilization occurs and that fertilized egg is going to travel down the uterus and that's where the baby is going to grow for the next nine months. So a couple of different things are happening each month to, with the person with the uterus. The first thing is ovulation when the egg is being released once a month and the second thing that's happening is on the sides of their of the walls of the uterus um, the there's blood being built up and what that blood is going to do is let's say a pregnancy does happen that blood is going to be food and nutrients for the baby to grow for the next nine months so what is the first symptom or the first sign when someone is pregnant what do they not have they don't have a period. And the reason why they don't have that period is because that blood that was being built up is again, food and nutrients for the baby to grow for the next nine months. How is um, vaginal sex, specifically unprotected vaginal sex, related to pregnancy. So unprotected vaginal sex means no condom is being used. So someone with a penis needs to put their penis inside someone with a vagina. They need to ejaculate, which means just to come. And when that happens, what's going to happen is sperm is going to travel up the vaginal tract. It's going to go through the cervix and then it's going to go in the uterus and it's going to be looking for something. Again, it's going to be looking for an egg and if an egg is present pregnant there is going to be a chance of fertilization and therefore a pregnancy can occur but the timing of pregnancy is super super interesting do you guys know how long sperm can live inside the vaginal tract three to five days and how long can an egg survive during ovulation 12 to 24 hours so if in those 12 to 24 hours that egg is alive and if there's sperm fertilization and a pregnancy can occur Another thing to keep in mind is that someone can have sex on one day but not get pregnant until a couple days later if that's when they were to ovulate. There's apps out there that people use to predict ovulation, but the surest way is to talk to a healthcare provider such as a fertility specialist. To find out more information about pregnancy prevention, birth control options, condoms, visit talkaboutitdallas.com. Again, talkaboutitdallas.com. Feel free to DM us with any pregnancy questions, any birth control questions. Feel free to comment below, share with your friends, and we're looking forward to hearing from you. Bye, take care.